Hi everyone and welcome to Save by the Tail. Today I want to run you through my top five products for babies 0 to 3. I'm going to be honest that 0 to 3 babies don't actually play with a lot of toys so you actually only need a handful of toys. This video aims to show you the actual products that I think are worth buying at 0 to 3 um, and a lot of these actually she now likes even up till eight months. She probably will like them after that. So they have a lot of long life. Do not go and buy things that are the short lifespan um, would be my advice. So here are my top five products for babies not to three. Um, so number one is this lovely bright firefly called Fifi. And she absolutely loves Fifi. And I think the reason why she loves Fifi is because in the initial stages of life, they can't see very much at all. They only really see in black and white. So this is really really good for that reason exactly it's also got lots of other bright colors it's by Le Mays and they make a, they make a lot of these actually so you could get several different ones but she rattles she's got like crisp she's got um rusty wings she's also got a teva in her pocket so that's really handy for her to chew on and then it's also got a squeaker and then just lots and lots of different rusty bits. So overall Fifi is a really good buy and I definitely recommend buying this finish or stages. It also like clips onto the pram, which is really useful. So Fifi gets a thumbs up. Her favorite one is actually a really simple rattle we call Foxy. Now this came as part of a gift set from Jojo, Mum and Bebby. Um, but they also sell this individually and I think they've done a few other of these rattles. This was one of her favourite rattles and it's just so simple and the only other thing that's really good about this is quite easy for a baby to grip here. A lot of the other rattles that you get on the market and this is worth thinking about and I hadn't thought about it until my mum said something to me. But actually a lot of the rattles on the market are made of this hard plastic. Now when you experience a baby 0-3 they can't hold very much. So what you find happens is they end up dropping these rattles on their head. Now you imagine dropping this on your head is not going to hurt. Dropping a plastic rattle on your head at the age of 0 to 3 months is going to hurt your baby. So if you're looking at rattles that you want to buy, I'd recommend buying a soft rattle. Um, and this, the contrast on this is really good. I cannot recommend Foxy well enough. Now the next little set that we have was actually a gift from one of our friends. So thank you Kate. Really appreciate this gift. And it's a set of three um, really cute Disney characters. Now, I love Disney, so this is always going to get a thumbs up from me. But the good thing about this set is there's different sounds that they make. So Tigger is a rattle. Again, the same concept as Foxy. Drop it on the head, baby is not going to cry. Um, so this is Tigger. Then you've got Piglet, which has rusty ears. And you've got Pooh that squeaks. Baby can't squeak poo at 0 to 3 months, but they do react to um, the noises that Winnie the Pooh makes. So it, overall, this is a really cute set from the Disney store. They fit in your hand, so I really, really like these. Thank you, Kate. I really appreciate that. Uh, number four in our top five is the Matchstick Monkey. Now, this is a classic baby toilet. This is the dancing version. They also do like a classic Matchstick Monkey, um, but it's really good for a holding because it's quite like it's got loads of different places that the baby can hold on to it it's brightly colored so they come in like multiple colors i've gone for this color i'm a bit biased towards this color if i think about my other video on the ingenuity chair i also picked this color for that but i really like this color so yeah this little friendly guy is called a matchstick monkey and mum said this is quite scary but i really like him maybe like, i don't know what do you think the thing about this is you see it's got loads of different textures i find it really useful actually um lots of like lines and things for them to like explore and um, she still likes this one now we've got loads of photos with her with this little matchstick monkey it's either this or there's a giraffe out there that a lot of people buy um they're teething toys basically so things to like try and soothe when they're teething um but i don't i read lots of like negative reviews about the giraffe in that like it could break quite easily and a lot of mold could get into it which i haven't read so much about the matchstick monkey so i think it's really good um and i thumbs up for the matchstick monkey in my opinion um, the final one that I want to show you is actually a play gym. So a lot of babies will have a play gym and the aim of a play gym is just somewhere for you to be able to lay baby down. So here we have our play gym. So you see it's got lots of different colourful pictures to it which really encourages Alicia to move. Um, our one is really cool in that it's also got all these extra toys to it. So it comes with four toys, a mirror um, and a piano. Now all of this is detachable, which is really useful. So I'll just show you how the piano works. 
So we have three different settings. So this one is a lot of music. This one is more if they press it, it will tell them which animals they are. And this one is just piano noises, so it's a bit more on the plain side. But it's got a lot of different settings to it, and it's also got different volumes. So you've got like a lower volume, and then obviously you can turn it off to conserve battery. Um, the really good thing about this as well is the piano actually detaches, um, which is really useful because it means the toy is going to last a lot longer than 0 to 3 months. So the piano at 0 to 3 months was really good in terms of growing Alicia's leg strength. So she used to lay and kick it um, quite a lot which overall I think has really strengthened her legs and she's already like trying to stand up at eight months which is really encouraging and also this arch it comes off which is great because it means that you can stick it in these two holes here um, so it's really versatile baby can lay underneath it and play from this side when, when they're older they can sit up at the piano and play that way the piano also tilts so that it's facing so that it's upwards um, so it's a really useful toy in that it's going to last a long time. The only thing I will say is that when Alicia started to roll, these became a bit of a nuisance. So she'd try and roll, but she'd end up curled around these little cups. Um, so we've got lots of pictures of her curled around the cups. But overall, I really love this play gym. I'll show you the bit toys now in a bit more detail. So here we have the four toys that come with this. So we've got a little panda. Um, he's got black and white spots on the back, which again, as I said, is really good for babies when they are 0 to 3 months because all they really see in is black and white. So you don't need anything that's overly complicated at this age, to be honest. But this is really cool, so it rustles quite a lot. Um, and at the age of 0 to 3, they actually really like rustling. Toy number two um, is a nice little lion rattle. So again, quite simple. Again, what I said earlier with the rattles is we tried not to give her this one on its own unless it was attached to the um, arch that goes over the top. The reason being that babies don't really have much control of their hand at not to three months, so they do tend to whack themselves in the head quite a bit, which is cute, but also like they do cry with that, so keep it attached. Um, you also here have a little elephant, so a little blue elephant. Um, this is a sort of teething toy, so for them to chew on. We've left it mainly attached to be honest. Hasn't had that much interest in that one. And then this is another one of her favourite little detachable toys. So this is a monkey. And he's got little symbols which are really cute. You can shake them and it makes noises. She, as she got older, she became more and more a fan of the monkey. Um, but this all connects with all of the rest of the play gym. So all of these different images are all over the, like, the mat. They're all over the piano. It's really, really cute. One of my like best buys, to be honest. And actually... I'll tell you the truth, we didn't actually pay for it. So Boots do a really good club card scheme and it's worth signing up to. Um, so we collected a lot of Boots points, which meant that we had 40 pounds worth of Boots money um, on our card, which meant we didn't pay anything for it. So I love this toy even more for that. So I'll just show you how the piano comes off. So you just twist the purple bits at the side um, and then it sits upright so the baby can sit and play. Then if you keep twisting, it comes off completely so that you can take it out and around with you. So there you have my top five baby products for naught to three months. Let me know in the comments any like differences you had with what you found to be your favorite baby toys. Um, I'd love to see what your little one loved as they were growing up. As I said, these are really good toys because all of these are really versatile and she's still using them now at eight months. Um, with regards to baby toys, don't go crazy with baby toys. When you're a new mum, a lot of people will gift you things like toys and clothes. Um, so to be honest, a lot of this will be gifted. Um, but if you are going to purchase any yourself, I definitely recommend buying one of these top five. I aim to bring you more and more baby tips, um, tips from my daily life, just general chit chat um, and everything to keep you busy. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.